diatomic vibrating rotator so until now we discussed rotational spectra we also discussed the vibrational spectra of diatomic molecule this was also for diatomic molecule and if we separately uh, obtained an expression for E rotational and E vibration that means we treated a rotation without any vibration and vibration without rotation now in case Let us suppose that we have a diatomic molecule we have a diatomic molecule and this diatomic molecule it executes rotations and vibrations but these rotations do not affect the vibrations and vibrations do not affect the rotations but these are these are there in the molecule so there's a difference actually so one thing is that we have rotation we are not concerned with any vibration in the molecule we have a vibration but we are not considering any rotation in the molecule so we are considering now a molecule where we have rotations we have vibrations but these are independent of each other and that means we are retaining born open mirror approximation that means whenever there is a rotation there is no change in r R is same. That means the vibration is not there. Now, if we then take this molecule, the total energy of this molecule will be E rotation plus E vibration. Or uh, the in terms of wave number, this is in joules this is in centimeter inverse now we know that in this <coughs> rotation the quantum number is j and in vibration the quantum number is nu we can write then the total energy e j and nu so that is e of j and e nu now taking the complete expression this is the rotational part then there is vibration part that is nu plus 1 by 2 omega e minus xe nu plus 1 by 2 whole square Omega E. Sorry, this is for taking the and this is centimeter inverse. Here we have 
consider this D H. What are these? Centrifugal distortion. So E total is equal to Let us if we assume if we assume d and h equal to zero that means we are not taking any centrifugal distortion that means whenever there is a rotation molecule is not vibrating vj This is the expression when we assume that there is no vibration along with the rotation. But there is a there is an important point. If d and h is equal to zero, it implies that molecule is rigid. We are taking a rigid molecule, but yet vibrating. which is not possible. So this is the point to be understood. So when we take centrifugal distortion constant D and H to be zero, that means the molecule is rigid. When it is rigid, that means it is not vibrating, but we have a vibrating molecule. So that means D and H, they need to be taken. So we take the generally lower order terms, not the higher order one, because these have very small values. So considering up to the lower order, that is D, then E will be E J and U equal to minus. Mega E, and this is whole in centimeter inverse. So, in this case, how to draw the energy levels? So, the energy levels are important. Just remember that whenever I ask any question in the exam regarding these types of questions like in Z-man effect, in stock effect, in these rotational spectra, whenever there's a spectra related question, you have to draw the energy level diagram. So it is important. Even if it is not asked in the exam, still then you have to draw that. Now see that, I also did, already told you that, In the vibrational energy levels, among the rotational actually, or among the vibration, sorry, among the vibration levels, we have various rotational levels. These correspond to new vibrational. So there are various vibration level. This, these are all energy levels. And this is new equal to one. Then what are these different lines? These correspond to J. Our ground state, the lower value is written by J double dash. And this will be written as J single prime. Is it double prime? That is single prime. This is new equal to zero. 1, 2, sorry, J, 3, 4. Similarly, we have here 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. That means there's a transition from new equal to 0 to new equal to 1. 
and corresponding to this transition there may be multiple rotational transitions there may be multiple rotational transitions so it means that b rotational constant same for all j and nu why because we are considering born open mirror approximation they do not affect actually each other there are vibrations there are rotations but they do not affect each other we are taking approximation so same j b is same that means rotational constant remains same rotational constant will change when what is b if you remember what is b b as an expression anybody it is h4 h cut square or h4 let me see what yes so b has a value h by at pi square i this is a moment of inertia into c and we know that i is equal to mu r square so b is inversely proportional to 1 by r square okay so whenever there is a non rigid when there is a change in the r during a rotation there is a change in b since we have same j we are assuming that during rotation there is no vibration during rotation there is no vibration then this b will remain same b will not change that is what it means same for all j the selection rule delta nu see here so we have already seen that it is plus minus 1 plus minus 2 plus minus 3 etc and delta j is only plus minus 1 we can have also delta nu equal to 0 but it only happens when we have purely rotational when there is no vibration this delta nu so it is for the purely rotational spectra and remember that is important for a diatomic molecule a vibration change must be accompanied by a rotational one so whenever there is a vibration there will be a rotation simultaneous rotation so it is simultaneous at the same time what we are using above it is just an approximation so during the spectra of such a molecule how you will find the spectra the spectra will be found delta e j and nu which will be given by e j dash because we will have a transition from j dash and nu equal to 1 minus e j double dash nu equal to 0 so that means spectra will be when there is a transition from this level to this level above level plus minus 1 in this case j changes from j double dash to j dash and new changes from 0 to 1 so that is what i am writing here 
take the value it is b j dash into j dash plus one plus this is uh, in this case 9 by 4 actually here if you put up the values in the above expression this is j double dash j double dash plus 1 because the transition is going from j double dash to j dash so j double dash is at lower value j dash is at higher value so we are subtracting that is why we are subtracting j double dash from j dash And remember that omega e that is equal to sorry omega naught is equal to omega e into 1 minus 2x bar 2x e naught bar sorry 2x e using this value above equation is written as So I have used the value j dash and j double dash j dash new equal to one here in this expression in this here for the case of d equal to zero remember that Now the transition takes place from j dash to j double prime to j prime that implies delta j is equal to plus minus one so it implies that j double prime minus j prime is equal to plus one and j double prime minus j prime is equal to minus one from this selection rule When this happens, it gives us j double prime plus one. Wait from here. Wait, wait, not j prime, j prime is at so we have j prime is equal to j double prime plus one that means there is a transition from j prime to j double prime and it gives j prime minus j double prime is equal to one so it gives us delta e j and nu put the value of this j double j prime in terms of j double prime here in this equation similarly for delta j equal to minus 1 gives j double prime is equal to j prime plus 1 here it was j prime here it is j double prime it gives us j prime minus j double prime is minus one and it gives us delta e Here j prime is again equal to 0, 1, 2. Here j prime is equal to.
Now these two expressions, if you see there's a difference of this minus, here it is plus. It is minus here and it is plus here. We can combine them. And I can write delta E, it is a spectral, that is new spectra. I have taken an integer m and m can be plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 3, so on. When this happens, we can take m values. So for this case here, m will be plus 1 first case. For the next, it will be plus 2. Similarly, in this expression, there will be a minus one, minus two. So that is how we represent this equation in terms of single equation. Remember that it is important. M is never equal to zero in practical. Because when M is zero, that implies j prime or j double prime equal to minus one, which is not the case. When m is zero, it implies that j prime here or j double prime is equal to minus one and it is not possible. And in case, if you see this, if m is zero, let us suppose that this term is equal to zero, what we have, j and nu, omega naught. This is actually the band origin. You can determine the band origin, but this band origin will not be observed in the spectra. It is not observed in the spectra. So there are bands with respect to this omega naught and omega naught has a particular value for a given molecule. So it is not random. So it has a given value for a given molecule because each molecule has its own vibrational frequency. As we have seen omega naught is equal to omega e into one minus two xc. Is that equilibrium that vibrational frequency and this equation here it gives us expression for the vibrational rotation spectra of a molecule vibrating rotating vibrating or a vibrating rotator or the vibrating rotation of a vibration rotation spectra of a molecule. And remember that when you change the value j here, this m, sorry, when you change the value m plus one, plus two, minus one, minus two, like we did in the rotational case. For example, you have these spectral liners. If this is an omega naught, it is not observed in the spectrum. So when you change the value of this m, you will go up to here, you will go up to here, you will go up to here, you will go up to here on the left and the right hand side because of that plus and minus, they are equally spaced. And that space is 2b. This is an important point. This is 2b. On each side of the band origin. Since we cannot say that we we are saying that m is m can be never be equal to zero. That is why the band origin or the line at this point will not appear. It will not be here. Now, whenever delta j equal to plus one, it is called as R branch. That means Whenever we are going to the positive side or the delta j is plus one. 
and when delta j is minus one it gives us q branch sorry p branch so that means if we have delta j equal to minus two minus one zero plus one plus two these lines then will be origin is omega naught so it is represented by q on the delta j right hand side it is r branch here we have p branch here it is u and it is s these are the branches how the spectra looks for this case let us see this is the absorption because it is it's this spectra happens in the absorption of the radiation when the radiation is absorbed in the micro this uh, radio wave frequency range there is an vibrating spectra vibrating as well as rotating because and it happens like this here for example and there is a this is the diatomic molecule vibrating rotator molecule will be consist of consisting of bands here are the bands here so there are the different bands there will be a band origin then there will be again band on the left hand side of this so here is the band origin okay this is the p branch this is the r branch and this is q here q has a almost zero intensity okay and this is p1 p2 p3 p4 similarly this is q r1 r2 r3 r4 these are the peaks are the transitions okay so there are different transitions in this case or uh, in some cases the intensity is very low so if you go here this is the absorption this is the centimeter inverse the molecule happens like this this so these are different bands which are observed this each peak correspond to a transition between two different j levels and new levels in this case now what happens if we have a molecule where there are dependent vibrations and rotations that means it is affecting the rotation as well as the vibration okay so in that case the whenever there is a change in the there is a vibration because of rotation that is why we are saying whenever you see a vibration it will be because of a rotation so there will be a rotation okay so whenever there is a vibration because of rotation that means they are dependent then the b changes b changes when b changes so for example because i already told you b is has a relation with the r then i can write delta e will be equal to e it is j prime for new equal to 1 minus e j double prime new equal to 0 just like in the case previous case and we have omega naught plus p1 j dash j dash plus 1 for j double dash there will be a b naught because b will change now so here in this case take the same experiment this diagram take this diagram here now whenever there is a vibration because of the rotation because that means the vibrations are affecting the rotations these rotations are affecting the vibration so here we have b not this will be b1 because b that rotational constant will change now the rotational constant will change now here okay and again omega not is equal to omega e 
into one minus two x j. Now for delta j equal to plus one, j dash is j double dash plus one. So this delta e here will be equal to this will be rotations. Solving this j dash putting the value of j dash in terms of j double dash and j double dash is zero one two similarly when delta j is minus one j double dash will be equal to j dash plus one and delta e will be equal to p branch this is r branch sorry it's not rotation this is r branch this is p branch Again, j dash is zero, one, two, x. So these are the wave numbers of P branch and the R branch respectively. Similarly, we can combine these both as we combined it in the previous case. We can write new PR wave number. Where m greater than zero, that is plus m, positive m, it refers to the R branch. M less than zero, that is minus m, it refers to the P branch. If you want to ignore that there is no vibration when there is a rotation, then put B1 equal to B0 equal to B. That is a simple case. But remember that B1, that is the in the excited state, in the upper transition, J dash equal to one, uh, J goes to J double prime, J, J single prime, then B1 is always less than B naught. When there's a transition from J double prime to J prime. There are different J primes here. This corresponds to new equal to one. This corresponds to new equal to zero. So here we have B one. This has B naught because whenever there is a higher rotation, then only molecule will go to this state. As the rotation constant increases, that is why B one is less than B naught. Sorry, this is a less. Okay. B one is less than. So this is the case of a molecule where we have rotations, vibrations as in case of the when we have a born open mirror approximation and when there is a breakdown of the born open mirror approximation in both the cases. So I will leave it here.